Well, TRT World's editor-at-large, Yusuf Aram, is also at the Munich Security Conference. He has the opportunity to speak with Bosnian Foreign Minister Elmadim Konakovic and asked him to share his thoughts on the current situation in Ukraine as the war approaches its second anniversary. Unfortunately, it's not easy to see the same pictures like we were seeing 25 years ago in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It is happening again, even uh, international community has said never again. It is happening in the middle of Europe, so it's really not easy to see the horrible pictures from, from uh, kids dying or killing civilians or attacking on, on civilians. So for us in Bosnia, we still remember what happened in Bosnia. Uh, it's really not easy, I hope. As soon as possible, they will sit together, they will negotiate, they will talk, because one day of peace is, is, is really worthful. And I hope this bloody war will stop. We are all hoping that will happen. Are you seeing any similarities between what's going on in Ukraine right now and what went on in Bosnia two decades ago? Yes, of course, many similarities. Uh, I was talking about the pictures for, that, that, that really is, for us, it's really emotional. And also on the other side, uh, great aspirations for some countries. We had aggression in Bosnia-Herzegovina from uh, Serbia at that time. Now we are seeing Russia trying to conquer uh, Ukrainian soil, like that was that is really and truly aggression on Ukrainian sovereignty. And we can say that this is the same scenario. And just I hope that it will stop as soon as possible. Over the past two decades, there has been more peace and stability in the Balkans than there was in the 90s and prior to that. Are you concerned that the war in Ukraine has ended that era of peace and now we're entering an era of heightened tensions? Uh, we can see a lot of effects, let's say. Uh, 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 let's, let's, let's start with the, um, with the international community, especially the European Union, waking up for, from, from some dream they were dreaming. And actually, they were doing nothing in Bosnia Herzegovina for a decade. And actually, after the war of aggression started in Ukraine, they woke up and they realized actually that uh, the same scenario can, can happen again on Balkans. And they started, uh, first of all, they have changed the approach regarding enlargement of EU. And then they started much better communication with the countries on the Western Balkans. So, uh, unfortunately, that's what, hap what is happening in Ukraine has helped to my country to, to, to have more serious relations with the uh, European um, Union. But on the other side, there is also a fear because of Russian influence, who is present, of course, in the Western Balkans territory, especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro also. And we are trying to find some balance, first of all, to protect our sovereignty, integrity, to, 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 to keep security, to, to have um, stability in Balkans, and then to talk, of course, about the development of our economy.